What we're really looking for is evidence that you, as a maker and a thinker, can think three-dimensionally. The ability to kind of uh, come up with ideas and then visualise them on paper. A body of evidence, a body of work that says to us that you're the right person to come on our course. Um, and that work can be all sorts of different things. Quite a lot of people find the idea of preparing a portfolio really daunting, but actually I think it doesn't need to be. Particularly people in school, younger people, are intimidated by the idea of actually bragging about what they can do. But actually I want you to show off, I want, I want people to come in and say, I'm really good and this is what I can do. And that's what I'm looking for in a portfolio. I'm actually looking for the potential for somebody to come onto my course and do really, really well at it. Someone who's interested in material, interested in form, interested in ideas around the subject. A tip for your portfolio would just be just keep everything original and true to yourself. Don't be plagiarising or just copying stuff. Just try and keep it, you know, 100% you. That's the most important thing. And then if you can talk about it passionately and provide a lot of information, then that's a great portfolio. Most people who are coming to us are taking the first steps in their career. So what I'm looking for really is for them almost not to be too self-critical, for them almost to kind of start just putting everything that they think is relevant in. If you've got any jewellery skills at all, then I would really like to see them. And if you don't have jewellery skills, then metalworking skills in general, or even just the ability to make things. So, you know, if you've made things in wood, or you've made things in, in, in plastics or whatever, in, in craft and design, I want to see that. I think it's important to include quite a few elements, so it's not just all your final pieces. I think you should show that you can work from a beginning idea all the way through. You might not have liked your final piece as much, but you, the process that you did, you worked hard on, and I think if you're proud of that, then you should definitely show it. I'm much, much more interested in sketchbooks, um, because sketch, sketchbooks show your imagination at work, um, whereas Portfolio presentations in terms of like you know, things in little sheets show finished objects or finished ways of thinking and actually the process is much more important to me. I actually got quite a bit of an advice from an old art teacher and we sat and looked at my portfolio and how I should order it because some of my work in there was quite old so we considered not including it but then I thought that it really represented a part of who I still am so I decided to include that. So I think it's just how best to represent you as long as there's current work in there then include what you think you're very proud of. Because we've also got such a range of courses within the School of Jewellery here uh, it's quite nice if you've thought through the different courses, what the different courses offer and what's suitable for you. The other thing I'm really interested in is how you interact with the existing jewellery world, as it were. Have you made jewellery before? What do you know about jewellery making and jewellers? So that kind of thing. I mean, I'm just general kind of background reading. Yeah, I would definitely suggest that practising and just going through it and with other people who may not have a clue about it either, just so that you know what you want to say makes sense when it actually comes to the interview. I think it definitely helps with nerves as well if you've been through it a few times. We're all really approachable in here. One of the things we're really proud of is the fact we have amazingly good uh, relationships with the students. We, 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 you know, we work well with them. And really it's just a question of uh, if you want to do this, uh, do it because you're only going to get, you're only going to get some very limited number of chances to do it. So come along and do it.